Hey everyone, it's Janice. Welcome to April Favorites. I have a lot of really strong beauty favorites this month in addition to the other favorites I always share with you which are the books and the fashion. So let's just jump right into my um, number one beauty favorite of the month and that has been the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation. This is a very full coverage foundation and what I started doing actually after I'd been using it for like a week or so was I started mixing it with my Garnier BB Cream to kind of sheer it out a little bit because this is super full coverage. I would say it's good for oily skin. It's fragrance free, oil free, it has a matte finish. And probably my favorite thing about this foundation besides the coverage is how long it wears. It says on the back 24 hour wear and I would say that's absolutely correct. I've actually been getting comments all month long like people that I've been seeing like later on in the evening after my regular job like other girls have been coming up to me and being like how is your makeup still on and like I don't think it's just my Urban Decay setting spray like this foundation truly does make your makeup last all day. I have two negatives that I want to let you know about this foundation. The first one is that is sadly the packaging. I love that it's a pump and it does pump out the right amount. However, there is no cover right here. So there is no possible way you could travel with this foundation. If you press it, it will come out. So I am sad that I can never travel with this or I guess I could just put it in a little clear container if I had one. And the other negative is that you need to make sure that you exfoliate really well before you use it and that you moisturize really well. Um, my skin is not really dry but I still had a little bit of like winter leftover dryness around my mouth and if you have any dry patches this foundation will cling to it so this foundation can be excellent and like really really perfect you just need to make sure that you're using it properly and you may want to shear it out with the BB cream and I have never sheared out any foundation before I love the full coverage kind of look I'm very into that like flawless skin look but with that foundation was like so full coverage that it like needs to be sheared out a little bit Second favorites, or the next two favorites, are both from Dior. You know, it's April, and there was the 15% off Sephora VIB sale, and I had a little bit of money left on a gift card, and I had really been wanting these couple items from Dior for a long time, and I was like, if you're not going to buy it during the sale, and when you have a gift card, you are never going to buy this. So I just jumped at it, and I purchased the Dior. I want to take out the little... Um, eyeshadow thingy so they don't fall out. I purchased the Dior Quint in Grage. This is something I was gonna save to get for myself for my birthday but my birthday is in July and I just couldn't wait and it was on sale. So these colors are absolutely gorgeous. They're all neutrals. Um, they have a range of finishes. Um, so there, there's like a white, a gray, a brown, um, these are the swatches right there. So Dior has many of these quints, but I totally got flower bombed. Um, if you don't know what flower bombed mean, means, if you're not watching um, Flower Bomb 31, Natalie, and basically whenever she recommends something and you go buy it, just consider yourself flower bombed. So I got flower bombed hardcore with this Dior quint. This is definitely a splurge for me, but it has been absolutely perfect for you know a professional woman like me something to wear to work. Um, I'm wearing it today. You can do a variety of looks with the palette and this is just something that is just a new essential for me. It's just my new absolute favorite. Um, the other Dior item I picked was a lip product. Thank you for those of you who recommended your favorite lip products to me from my last favorites video. This was a recommendation from a subscriber and also I follow the blog um, Emily Maynard's blog. So Emily Maynard was on The Bachelorette a few years ago. So I never really have been into The Bachelorette but like one few years ago like when her season was on when she was you know a contestant or whatever you want to call it I don't know, something about her just drew me in because she's just so freaking beautiful. So anyways, on her blog, she said the Dior Lip Glow is like one of her must-have favorite beauty products. And I was like, okay, if Emily uses that, I need to get it too because she is gorgeous and I need to do whatever I can to like be as beautiful as Emily. So the Dior Lip Glow product is really unique. It goes on like a chapstick, um, but it adjusts itself to your... Um, own personal like best lip color because I really struggle at trying to find out what lip colors look good on me. Um, my lips are thin. They're kind of like one of my least favorite features so I never really want to like play up my lips or like call attention to them but this lip just like this thing just 
makes itself its perfect shade for you. It's super easy to use. It has really luxe, gorgeous packaging, and I'm very happy I bought this. Thank you to the subscriber who recommended this, and thank you to Emily Maynard's blog, who I've discovered other wonderful beauty products from as well, or things that I discovered we had in common. Um, if you haven't checked out her blog, I do recommend it, even if you're not a fan of, you know, The Bachelor and The Bachelorette necessarily, because I'm not really like an avid watcher of those shows. But that girl is just so pretty. I'm like, I need to be following her blog and figuring out what she uses. Um, next favorite is brush favorites. I had only had one other Sigma brush before. I'm actually very loyal to my Sephora brushes most of the time. So I, but I could not pass up the Jaclyn Hill Beauty Box. It had all of the brushes from Sigma that I'd always really wanted to try. It had the F80 foundation brush and it had the um, F35 um, highlighter brush. And I, once I found out that Jaclyn Hill had this box with all the brushes I'd been wanting to try, it was of course sold out. But finally, I got on the wait list and it wasn't sold out by like mid-April. So I've only had these brushes for the second half of April, but they are a huge favorite. Um, I've had lots of other foundation brushes in the past that I've really liked, but the F80, I have to say, surpasses them all. This blends your foundation flawlessly. Um, so I want to address the other brushes that are my favorites. Um, that I used to use that I'm of course still going to use but um, uh, my old favorites was the Sephora airbrush professional set it comes with five brushes at $65 I got it a few years ago you know during a VIB sale or something and my old um, other favorite brush from Sephora was the fan brush for highlight um, yes I wanted to say someone a few months ago did ask me to do a brush favorites video and I filmed it and YouTube will not let me put it up so I'm gonna try and like sneak in my favorite brushes to you um, in my favorites videos because like YouTube kept claiming I was like using content that wasn't my own or something um, I'm not affiliated with any brush brands I'm not affiliated with Sigma and like I was talking about what were my favorite brushes and YouTube was like no eh, I will not let you put up so Anyways, just letting you guys know, I do really like Sephora brand brushes for the most part. Um, but I have really been loving the, so the F86 for concealer. This brush kit was like a really great deal, and I'm just super happy with it. The only one, no, I do really like it. I wouldn't say it's a miss. I would just say with the highlighter brush, I actually really like the fan brush. This was the one brush I had been wanting to like seek out, and I was almost going to purchase on an individual basis because a lot of people have really recommended this F35 as their favorite highlighter brush. It's great, I do really like it, and you can use it to set under eye concealer as well. But I, I really like my fan brush too. But the other brushes are great, all of the eye blending brushes, highly recommend. I'm very happy that I jumped on getting that kit from Sigma, and if it's not sold out, I definitely wanted to tell you guys about it because I think it's a great deal. I think that the box kit that Jacqueline put together of her favorite brushes um, is exactly the kind of brushes that you know every woman should own. Um, it doesn't come with like a bronzer brush or a blush brush so thankfully I already have brushes that I really like that I use for those purposes because the kit did not include that. Um, next and last beauty favorites before we move on to my other favorites is my Philosophy Amazing Grace perfume. I'm sure you can see in the background that this is like my all-time favorite perfume. I've been out of it for a while and I decided to repurchase it. I'm very happy I have it back and I want to just tell you one of my little like save money on makeup or like kind of theories about saving money on beauty products. I do have a how to save money on makeup video I did like months and months ago if you want to check that out. But perfume used to be something I might wait for like a 20% off sale for, but I found a better deal with the perfume, which was when Ulta does five times the points on buying a perfume. So the cost of this perfume at getting it when it was doing five times the points, which is what I did, would equal a future savings, you know, a point, um, it accrued the points worth $17.50. Whereas 20% off of this perfume probably would have only been like 11 or $12 savings. And so I thought a savings of $17.50 on a future purchase was better than that. So I decided to buy it full price at five times the points rather than waiting for a 20% off sale. So that may be something you want to consider. Ulta does multiple times the points on perfumes a lot of the time. So maybe to get your points up at Ulta, consider you know buying a perfume during that time. Um, so going along with the Amazing Grace perfume, I decided to try Candles by Victoria. I heard lots of reviews about them before and I decided, okay, I'm gonna like their Facebook page and see what kind of deals they come out with. And I ended up getting candles during the 20% off sale and I purchased a sample pack of six of them at 20% off. And you can put whatever 
scents you want in the candles. And she also, or not also, she actually makes a candle in the Amazing Grace scent. I'm like taking the thing off so that you guys can smell it. I'm sorry, this is so ridiculous. I see people do it in videos, be like, can you guys smell it? Like, I know you can't. So now I, now I know how people feel when they're filming a video and they're trying to like show you guys what it smells like. But anyways, this smells like my Amazing Grace perfume. And I've been very impressed with the candles by Victoria. All of the scents I got were great. I also bought one in the leaves scent, which I'm um, sure if you don't have it yourself, you've heard that the leaves scent from Bath & Body Works is amazing and they only come with, out with it at the fall time. So the fact that I can get the leaves candle any time of year that I want from Candles by Victoria is awesome. And also what I really liked about her candles is that she pours them you know, at the time you order them. So basically the candle's never going to be sold out. You can tell her whatever candle you want and she will pour it, you know, for you and send it to you. So I think these candles are definitely, um, this, the scents are amazing. She has so many scents. The throw on these candles is fantastic. I love the packaging. I love the screw on jar. These are going to be excellent for reuse afterward. And I just wanted to share with you guys that that was definitely like a lifestyle favorite of me for the month and I'll definitely be buying from her again. My two fashion favorites before we move on to books have been my um, J. Crew Factory little like paper bag skirt. They come out with these in like a bunch of colors. This has been my like go anywhere skirt. I think it's going to look great even in the fall and winter like with tights and boots but I've just been wearing it with just like a t-shirt to just like go to the mall, go to the grocery store, um, looks great with sandals. I just think it's very versatile and it's super comfy and I bought it online so I wasn't sure how thin it was going to be and it's perfect in that it's not um, too thick that it makes you hot but that it's thick enough that it is in no way see-through. So even though it's like a light tan color it's not see-through at all. And my other fashion favorite, you're gonna think this is funny because I haven't worn it that much this month, but it's my L.L. Bean boots. I have wanted these for so long. Um, after having two trips recently where I went to the snow, I used to live in the snow. I used to live in upstate New York, but since I moved to Florida, I got rid of a lot of my snow stuff. I no longer had any snow boots. I spent Thanksgiving up north where it was snowing, and I went on a trip to North Carolina in February where it was snowing. I did not have snow boots. I really needed to add snow boots back into my life. The L.L. Bean boots are amazing. They're very popular. So, of course, they were sold out, and they were sold out, like, for months. But after those trips, I got myself, I ordered them. You don't even have to go on the wait list. You can just order them, and they will tell you when they will ship. So, anyways, I ordered these months ago, and they finally shipped and arrived to my house, and I love them. And um, I wanted to mention them also because L.L. Bean does kind of recommend going one size down if you're going to wear these with really thick socks. And I thought I was never going to get these because my feet are a U.S. size 6 and they don't make any 5s. They don't make anything smaller than that. So I was like, oh man, I'm never going to get the L.L. Bean boots because they're not going to fit me. But I decided to chance it and I got the 6 anyways. And with a pair of thick socks, they do fit me just fine. So I did actually wear them a couple times this month and I will definitely wear them at um, my cabin that my husband and I go to frequently on the weekends. But now I have snow boots finally again so my husband loves the snow he didn't grow up in it and he's always wanting to go to the snow so now I have some more proper gear for when we may go back again um, this winter so moving on to the book favorites I have five books I'm going to go over them quickly because especially the ones that are kind of misses so I mentioned in my last favorites I was reading uh, Stephen Hawking's A Brief History in Time I finished that I definitely recommend it I'm not really a science person at all but I found the book like really interesting, really thought provoking, definitely recommend it. Second book I read was The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. It is a collection of short stories about men in the Vietnam War. It was definitely kind of sad, not my usual kind of book, but if you like kind of like war stories um, or are interested in hearing about things from a soldier's perspective, you might like it, but it, that wasn't really my kind of book. Third book I read, I have to say, was a total dud. It was one of those, just not really a novel, but I read um, Style A to Zoe by Rachel Zoe. I do also have a review of like fashion books. I did that like many months ago on my channel. I couldn't even get through the book. I didn't learn anything from it. I did not really connect with Rachel Zoe and her style. You might, you might like it, but that gets a thumbs down for me for the fashion books. Um, the fourth book I read was Practical Magic 
by Alice Hoffman, which is also a movie, and I'm trying to watch the movie right now, but I fell asleep. Um, the book is about these sisters, and there's sort of like sort of a curse on the family, so to speak, that all of the men that they fall in love with or the men that they marry die. Um, so it's sort of, but it's not really like a dark book like that. The movie is like a romantic comedy. It's got Nicole Kidman and Sandra Bullock, and I'm going to try and finish the movie. And what people have said and my experience so far with the movie is the movie is better than the book. It's surprisingly one of those situations. Um, I did not dislike the book. I think, I think it was really beautifully written. I just didn't like connect to it in some ways. I didn't connect to it in the way that I hoped to with my books. So my fifth and last book is the book that I'm in the middle of right now, but I won't mention it next month. I just wanted to mention it this month. It's Fast Food Nation. It's by Eric. His last name starts with an S. I cannot recall. I will try to put it in the description box. It's not what you think. It's not one of those books that's going to be like, fast food is horrible. You should never eat it. It's so bad for you. You have no idea what's in it. It's more of a business book, which I really enjoy business books, actually. And it's more about like how the fast food industry makes money, like how their budget works almost um, and it goes from everything from like the production to like the operating ways and I'm really really enjoying the book I definitely recommend it and if you're anyone who enjoys reading about business or enjoys reading about like health books or like documentaries I definitely recommend it and it is also apparently a movie I just looked that up today when I was trying to look up things about the book to tell you guys I was like, oh, this is a movie too? Like, of course, I swear, I don't plan my favorite books in every empties, or not empties, what are we talking about? Favorites to be like, and this book's also a movie. I swear, I do read books that like don't turn into movies, but you know, a lot of ideas are just recycled. So for movies, a lot of times they draw inspiration from books. So these were all my favorites of the month. I would love to know what are your favorites from the month or what you're reading. And um, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.